In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how I would recommend defending the U-Trips meta offense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can become. And so if you wanna get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to hit that subscribe button and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the YouTube channel. Now, like I said in this video, we're taking a deep dive into how I would recommend people uh, defend this um, U-Trips offense. I think the U-Trips offense is one of the glitziest and most destructive offenses in the entire game. That's why I wrote an entire ebook on it. If you want to get my U-Trips guide, you can get that in the description. But the defense that we're looking at today is coming out of the Nickel 335 wide defensive guide. If you want to get my complete defensive guide that will walk you through uh, step by step and how to showing you how to stop pretty much every offense in the entire game You can get that in the description, but in this video we want to make sure that we have the Mike blitz three um, As our audible again that defensive guide is just 15 bucks and it's going to be available in the description of this video We want to put our flats on 30 yards our curl flats on 10 yards and our hook curls on five yards just like that right there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna audible into the Mike blitz three out of the nickel three three five wide now, as far as run defense goes, it's a little bit of a unique formation. It's kind of an awkward formation to defend against the run. I don't even think I brought, did I bring the 5-6 trap? I did bring the 5-6 trap. So uh, I just want to show you, uh, you know, kind of a, a standard style run defense. What I like to do um, is I actually like to shift my defensive line to the right. And then essentially you see that they're, they're going to pick you up just like that right there. So we have to kind of work a little bit to stop the run. So I want to start with that and then we'll go over the basic pass coverage. But real quick, as far as a run defense, um, again, you want to get kind of out here. You don't want to be over the center. You want to be out in this area right here. That's really the ideal. And then snap the ball. You're just going to kind of run through here. Most of the time, this run is not the greatest, at least in my opinion. Um, it's, it's rather easy to stop, but it's not, it's not the easiest in the world to shoot. So it's easy to stop, meaning you're not going to give up a lot of like one play touchdowns, but it's hard to shoot because it's kind of awkward. You see how they kind of shift over like that? So that's why I actually like to shift away from the pulling guard uh, in this example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift to the right just like this, and I'm actually gonna kind of stand, you know, kind of like right in here. And what you're gonna see is if they run this, I'm just gonna kind of, you know, again, I can kind of blow this up a little bit. Let me show you one more time. Um, again, depending, this is one of the most awkward formations, in my opinion, to defend in the entire game. So it is a little bit of like kind of cat and mouse game as far as like where you stand, where, where would be a good idea to stand. Right there, I, I kind of messed up on my shoot a little bit, but you know, basically you can, you can relatively slow, I mean, you can slow this run down just by like standing like right here. Like if you just stand like right here and you just run straight, like a lot of times you'll just slow it down. But Again, you want to be able to like slow it down, but you also want to be able to stop it in like a third down and short situation. So that's why I like to stand like way out here almost to the point, like I really like to get out here a little bit. And then I'm just going to run like down and then through just like that. I got tripped up there, but that's kind of the idea. Um, that That's kind of uh, the idea. Let me show you that one more time. Um, so again, I'm just gonna shift over to Mike Blitz 3, and then I want to shift my defensive line away actually. Um, just because of the way this thing, fo this formation works. Um, and then you'll see like kind of come down just like that. And then just kind of fill this lane right here is really the idea of what you're trying to accomplish. And you know what? I mean, if you don't, if you're not able to stop the, the run in that regard, you can just kind of stand like right here as well. Um, this is not a bad way to do it. And then just basically run straight. As you can see, you're able to shut it down. So one way is a little bit more user. Um, the reason I like to stand over here is just because it allows me to kind of jump any like quick throws to the running back. That's more of what I'm looking to do right there. So as you see, it's all in how you kind of like run after the snap. Um, it's actually really, really important this year as far as like how you're going to actually go about running at the guy. So like here, I'm going to run to the left a little bit and then kind of set it up. The tight end doesn't, the tight end normally doesn't shoot over like that. Um, at least against that specific type of shoot uh, normally. I think I might be just a little bit too close. Again, being too close is a little bit of a problem because you see right there, like the tight end should not be able to pick me up like that. But again, if it worst case scenario, you just shift them over to the other side. But anyways, let's talk about a little bit of the passing. 
Um, let's talk a little about a little bit of the passing from this formation. So obviously, you know, a Mabel coverage is kind of a standard way to play it. But one of the things that you have to know um, specifically about this formation is it's actually really, really good um, against different types of cover threes. So for example, if I just run like a traditional cover three defense, what's going to happen is I should get absolutely destroyed. So, um, you know, if I run like this play right here, the tight end whip, if I run this play and I run this setup right here, what you should see is the R1 uh, should basically absolutely glitch out the cover three. As you see right there, absolutely glitches it out. One play touchdown, you know, and that's what makes the U-trips really hard to defend. So uh, what I recommend as far as a base coverage show is to shift into that Mike Blitz three, of course, we're gonna shift this direction. One of the things we absolutely have to do is take the defensive end on the right side of the screen. So that's Gary right here. And we're gonna put him into a bluff blitz, which is gonna turn him into a three wreck. As you can see right there, he is in a three wreck hook zone. The next thing that you need to do is, what we're, the next thing that we're basically gonna do here um, is we're gonna try to prevent any kind of bomb up the middle by uh, essentially playing cover four to the short side. So what that's gonna look like um, is we're actually gonna just go ahead and shade our coverage down just like this. And then we're gonna put an outside quarter on the right side. We're gonna put an inside quarter uh, on the safety. So this guy Jackson's on an inside quarter and Alexander is gonna go on an outside quarter, just like that right there. And then from there, uh, we're gonna play, we've got our, uh, our Mabel coverage. So both linebackers are going on seam flats, just like this right here, okay? Now, this is where um, this is where it gets a little tricky because a lot of things that they are going to do revolve around motion snapping. Uh, typically, they're going to motion snap that R1 uh, R1 receiver to the left side, and so if they do that, essentially what we're going to do um, is we're going to turn the left side into cover two. So they see here just simply uh, a nice little cover two defense. And the trick with this is anything that's to the seam on this left side, we have to kind of jump with our user. That's why we want to kind of sit like right in here. So if they run the ball, you know, that's why we really want to have, you know, a decent run defense. And of course, um, you know, again, depending on where you stand, I might actually, uh, I might actually be telling you wrong. You might need to be uh, a little bit more like centered for this one. Um, this is a weird, awkward run. It really is. It's a weird, awkward run. Most of the time you're gonna be able to shoot it no problem. Occasionally you'll get picked up. And so that's where you just kind of kind of navigate that a little bit. But anyways, um, so what we're doing here is we're basically playing, you know, cover two to the short side and cover uh, four to the wide side. So it's gonna look just similar to this right here. The reason I like this is because it's really hard to get bombed with this coverage. It's really hard um, for the coverage to be able to get over the top of this. Now, uh, really quickly, I do want to address one specific route in particular, and that is the pat slot out. So um, you'll see right here, and I've talked about this a little bit before, but if they if they do this right here, um, you'll see that this square guy, because of three three five wide, because of three three five wide you're not, it's not gonna be an issue, right? You're gonna be able to defend it at a relatively easy way. So because of the positioning of the players, that's really where we're making our money uh, with this. So this coverage right here, as it looks right there, what it's gonna do is, let's say that they wanna run like that tight end whip type setup, okay? Uh, if they wanna run this, they're not gonna be able to do that. And basically your job is gonna be to take away any post routes. Uh, this offense depends a lot on post routes and like kind of glitchy streaks that'll glitch out a lot of Mabel type of coverages, not Mabel type of coverages in particular, but like it'll glitch out like cover three and cover uh, cover two. But this cover six concept really does a good job depending on, again, what they run. But you'll see right here, we've got to have a lot of success and it's really difficult in my opinion for your opponent to be able to consistently move as long as you take care of like the post routes. As long as you take care of the post routes, you have the, 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 the zones on the field to be able to take care of any motion crossers or any deep streaks or glitchy routes like that. So that's why I like this play so much and this, uh, this, this defense. Uh, one last little tip really quickly. Uh, we talk a little bit about the motion snap. I haven't hit on that too much yet. So if they motion snap, which is very likely that they will if they're running a good U-trips formation, more than likely, they're going to motion. Uh, they're going to motion this R uh, this R one receiver. So at the point of the fact that they motion this R one receiver like this right here, then what you can do um, once they motion him, 
we can actually turn this into just a simple cover four. So we could turn that left side or that short side of the field into just a simple little cover four. And the reason why is because it's gonna take away routes like that right there. So if they try to use those routes, you can do that. That's another little hidden adjustment uh, within this. We can either run the cover six version or the cover four version. Both are really effective. The cover six version is better for like crossing routes if they're running crossing routes from the short side of the field. Um, the cover four version is better for more of the general way that people are going to run this offense. So anyways, all that to say, thanks for watching this video. If you want to get my entire three, three, five wide defensive guide, you can get that in the description for just 15 bucks. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on stream tonight at 8 PM Eastern time. Again, if you want to get my entire complete guide to defense, you can get my full three, three, five wide defensive guide in the description for just 15 bucks.